What's up viewers, Eric from Beatsonic. Today we have here an NX200T and we're going to be installing the Apple CarPlay for Lexus. It's going to be a plug and play install, pretty easy. We're going to spend most of the time just routing the wires and just taking off the panel, everything else will just plug into place. And in addition to that, the same kit is compatible with all 2015 to 2017 NX models with navigation. So let's not waste any time and get started. All right, now that we're in the car, the first thing we want to do is raise the armrest like this. And we want to grab this piece and remove it. You can just grab a hold of it, get a firm grip, and just pull it up. Just like that. And then go ahead and grab this small piece over here. Just place your finger like this and just pull it up. Okay. And then the next step is to remove these two panels, one on the left and one on the right. It's all just being held by clips. Like this. All right, now that all those pieces are off in the middle, we're gonna go ahead and come over here on the driver's side. I'll first start by removing this piece over here. It's a panel removal tool, something like this. Switch it between and just slowly just pull it out. It's only being held by clips. Just like that. You can actually just leave it out like this and then grab a hold of this piece. We're gonna pull it out. And you will have to remove one connector. And then the next step we're gonna do is remove this Phillips screw right here. Okay, and we are also going to remove a few more Phillips screws down here under. Okay, once those two screws are out, now we are ready to push this panel down. I'm gonna drop it, slowly remove the clips, okay, working your way to the right side. Okay, just like that. And once this panel is dropped, go ahead and loosen this panel on the right side of your steering wheel. Okay, and just go ahead and put it aside. All right, now that we're on the passenger side, just go ahead, use a panel removal tool, place it this area over here and just gently pry it out. And next, open the glove compartment and then just go ahead and grab a good hold of this and pull it towards you. Okay, the next step we wanna do is remove this shift knob. First, go ahead and grab a hold of the shift boot and move it down just like that and just turn it counterclockwise. Okay, once you do that, we're gonna remove this big silver plastic trim. So we're gonna do that by just pulling on it very slowly. Just make sure you don't break or flex the plastic too much, just like that. All right, once that is out, we are gonna remove this center piece over here. It's all just being held by clips. We'll just pull it up, raise the armrest. And to help out, once you get most of it out, go ahead and press the shift lock button and you could change your gear down like this. Place this on the side for now. Just go ahead and grab a hold of this climate control assembly like this. Just pull it towards you. And there's a connector behind it to remove. Okay, once that's out, and we're going to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, once that is out, let's place a thick blanket over here and just pull it out and let it sit on the blanket. Next thing you wanna do is remove the screen on top. There's also two 10 millimeter bolts holding it. All right, once those bolts are out, just place a little small towel in front of it as we are going to lean it forward, just like this. Now that the car side is done, let's go ahead, grab our interface and prepare it for the connection. In order to prepare the interface, refer to the paper instructions that's included with the kit. It's gonna show you how to put the whole interface together. Once you have it all together and you're ready to connect, let's start off with the screen. Okay, so first thing you'll notice, there's a blue plug here, just unplug that. And we also have the matching blue connectors. We're gonna daisy chain it. So one part goes towards our interface and the other one will go behind the screen. Okay, and then we also have a connector that's gonna be daisy chained to this as well. So we're gonna disconnect that. And then we are going to connect to our connector and then connect the other side to the screen, just like that. Okay, and once all that is connected, let's go to the back of the radio Behind the radio, we're gonna make two connections, this big one and also this small one. So this big one over here, use a panel removal tool or a flathead screwdriver. Put it in here, press that button, and then just slide it out like that. 
and then we have a large connector that connects to it same concept go ahead and just connect into here just like that and the other end will connect into where the factory connector was just like that and we also have the other connector that I just mentioned so we're gonna plug this daisy chain it once again that this is for the AUX input all right okay so all the connection to the vehicle is completed before we organize all the wires and so forth let's just test the unit to make sure it's working from from the home screen you want to go ahead and um, just just press and hold the home button and then when you see this screen that's the system ready go ahead and plug your iPhone into our device and then there it is and while you're in this CarPlay mode there's one setting that you have to change for Lexus vehicles and it's the volume level on this Apple CarPlay and how you do that is grab some very small thin edge pin like this and then go ahead and press the outside part of it so that the part that's closest to the 3.5 millimeter just long hold and it's gonna take you to the settings menu on the screen you'll notice that the main volume level is lower than the other volume level so let's go ahead and raise it all the way to max to 56 and press the back button and you're done and you make sure Siri's working testing Siri can you hear me yes all right looks like it's working okay pretty cool back button's working all right cool looks like everything is working as it should let me organize the wires and I'll be mounting the the two interface boxes inside here this area there's a lot of space over here so let me go ahead and do that right now all right guys well we just realized that whatever you mount back there is actually going to drop behind the glove compartment so we have to remove the glove compartment so we just have a better way to mount our interface so let me go ahead and take the, the glove box out first by getting this latched area removed Drop it out like this. All right, so once we have that connected, all the wires organized in our interface and our adapter mounted inside that area, you could use some double sided tape so that it won't move around. We are ready to put everything back. So we're just going to reverse order everything we just did right now in regards to taking off all the factory panels. Put everything back and then we are done. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right guys, we put everything back to where it is. We finished doing the install. Now let me show you how everything works. So for this NX, since we don't want to drill any holes, this is where our USB connector sits right now. And we have our standard lightning cable that's plugged into it. And we could just simply just close our glove compartment. You are going to have this wire coming out like this. And everything on your car will be the same, feel the same. The only difference is that you have this cable right here okay so how do we operate the Apple CarPlay before we do that go ahead and go to your menu and then make sure your media is set to aux not AV but AUX and once you have it on aux go ahead and long press the home button and you'll see the screen that says system ready and once you see this system ready you could go ahead and plug your phone into the lightning cable and just give it a few moments and you'll see that the Apple CarPlay loads up. And just to let you know, you can actually plug it first and then press the home button. It does not matter. It will still load at the same speed. Now you could put your phone away. And then if you want to use Siri, you can also do so by pressing the menu button. Directions to Beat Sonic USA. Getting directions to beat Sonic USA. That works too. And then also there's a back button on your factory control. This also works as a back button. So if I'm in a map and I want to get out to my home screen, back out like that. 
Then when you receive a phone call like that, you could use your steering wheel control over here to pick up. Okay, hang up, hang up. as well. Just like that. Alright everybody, well thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at info at bsonicusa.com or you could ask questions below and we'll try to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you guys.